Hey there, gamer guys and gals. We got one from Red Barrels, and this is the Atlas Trials. And you can currently grab this on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC for $39.99. And there's a $49.99 version where you get like a starter pack. And uh, it's about the Murkoff Corporation. They're using humans as guinea pigs during the Cold War. Uh, they put you through like all kinds of crazy trials. Um, you'll see here in this opening cutscene. I, I guess you're a homeless guy like on the street, and this uh, you know paper ad floats onto your face. And I guess uh, you find some interest in it. So uh, you wake up uh tied up and uh you know in their grasps and you're basically trying you know to escape and get rid of all your information that they've collected on you uh it has a create a character there's not a whole lot you can do with it uh unless i just missed it but i didn't see like any beards or you know stuff like that there's not a whole lot of uh, clothing options either uh er Everybody's probably going to look kind of the same, but uh, if you if you love the Outlast games, like I did, I I don't know this one. It just really doesn't uh, relate to me all that well. I didn't like the multiplayer aspect of it. You know, I like the the single player campaign. The multiplayer just I don't know. It doesn't hit home with me. It feels like it when it first starts out and you're playing by yourself, you know, like the tutorial aspect of it. It kind of feels like the old game and it's creepy and, uh, you know, it just, it feels good. But then when you get to the multiplayer, I just, I just really couldn't get into it. Yes, you can play it solo, but, you know, it's not made to be played solo. So it can be really tough. And uh, the community... At least on Xbox, I can't speak for PC, and I think this game will probably be better on PC anyway. But the Xbox community seems kind of toxic. Like, I get kicked out of every single game I try to go into, and then people are like, "I'm going to change an event, you know, invite me," and then they'll kick you out. It's just like I, I never got to play with anyone. I was always playing by myself. But uh, I, I still had some fun with that, though, you know. It still felt like the solo experience. It's just really tough. Here's me dying. Uh, it's really bloody and gory like you expect from Outlast. I just really wish this was a third Outlast that was single player. And uh, one where you didn't need people to play. I guess you really don't need people to play this. But I think you're going to challenge. You see there that guy running at me. Uh, you have like uh, antidotes that you have to use because you get like, you know, stuff messing with your brain and you like see things that aren't there and it makes it even tougher i really like that aspect of it, it made it creepier because there's a lot of jump scares where enemies will just dash at you out of nowhere and you have to find an antidote to uh you know fix that you have a little sleep room where you can customize a bunch of stuff like you can put things that you want on the walls and on the shelves and you have to you know use money that you unlock playing the missions uh, and then you can uh, hang this stuff on your wall and your shelves and everything. That's a really cool aspect of it. It feels kind of like Fallout 76, but on a smaller scale. But uh, it, it's interesting customization. you got tons of little missions, as you see here, that you can play through. But you have, I think, I don't know if you have to do them all in order. I think you can jump into people's games and, you know, play them sort of out of order. Uh, you'll see here me searching for players and see me getting booted by these two guys. This happened to me every time I tried. I got kicked out of games. I don't know if just people don't want to play with beginners or what, but it it, it didn't feel good, and it's kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of crappy. So I played most of the game by myself, which was a real struggle, but, you know, I still enjoyed it at points. You know, it still felt like an Outlast game. I just, I don't know, it didn't feel, you know, completely like a single-player experience, and I wish... I wish they would have delivered that i know these games right here are, are big though but i think if you were going to play something like this you would play dead by daylight or texas chainsaw friday 13th one of those others you know over this because i just just don't seem like the multiplayer experience is all that great hopefully uh it changes i'm going to give it some more tries maybe i'll do an update on this review 
I still enjoyed it, but I just didn't enjoy it like I did the first two games. The first two games I loved. I loved, you know, the horror aspects, the story, all of that. This one has an interesting story, but it's just hard to advance through it when you're just playing it solo when it's meant to be played co-op. Maybe I'll uh, get some friends that play uh, that play this and uh, see if I can give it a run again. But uh, I'm still giving it a decent score. I still enjoyed it. It just... I didn't love it as much as I did the first two games. It, it's 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 a cool idea, and uh, it, it's really terrifying as you see here. It has this moments that's really scary. So I'm giving it a 6.7 out of 10. Uh, so I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it either. I enjoyed my time with it, and hopefully I can find some people to play it even more with. But hopefully you guys have a better online experience than I did, and hopefully you guys enjoy it more than I did. But uh, I'm not saying it's bad at all, so if you're interested, give it a try. But until next time, guys, see you in those other boards.